It is Hispanic Heritage Month, and this morning we are hearing about a local celebration of culture and heritage. Joining me in studio, two people behind Burian's B-Town Fiesta. We have Alexandra Andrade. You are a member of the organizing committee, and we also have Griselda Rojas Pacheco, who is a vendor. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for having us here. We're excited to be here. I'm excited to have you guys here. We have a lot of cool stuff we want to talk about on this table, but first, talk to us about what B-Town Fiesta is, why it's so important to have events like this in the community. Well, it's uh, an event that happens uh, yearly. We uh, come together to really celebrate all our culture amongst uh, other people in our community. We are excited that it happens on a yearly basis, and most recently we started having it during the month of, the, of our National Hispanic Heritage Month, so we're pretty excited. Can you talk a little bit about why it's important to help organize celebrations like this in your community? Uh, well, we want to make everyone feel welcome in our community. Our community is about 24% uh, Hispanic or Latino, and for us to be able to share that with others, it's uh, beyond, uh, uh, we're just beyond excited to be able to do that. And what does it mean for the Latinx owned businesses in the area to be able to have something that's highlighting their wares? Well, I know for, for myself, I have a store in Burien on 152nd um, called Citlali Creativo. Um, for me, it's, it, I, I mean, I am excited that people come into my store. I'm excited that I'm able to share these items with people. I'm excited that I can come here and be here today to be able to display that um, because it, it's, if you don't know, if you don't have the need for, let's say, for example, a quinceanera invitation, you probably mm -hmm. don't know that I exist in, in Burien at times. So it's, for me, this is, is a huge part for Griselda as well. She's excited that she can share from different areas of Mexico the products that she sells. She doesn't just represent the area that she's from. She represents the few other areas in, in, in Mexico. Yeah, so I was going to ask, can you talk a little bit about what we have on the table here? I love this bag. I just knocked something over. This is sturdy. This is awesome. Is it homemade? <laughs> yeah, it is homemade. It's from Oaxaca, Mexico. Okay. Yeah, we, make, we, uh, uh, we work with ladies in Mexico. They are make all these products. The 80% is women. They are 20% um, men, like, like this um, cup. Okay. It's handmade. I love that. Yeah. Women made. Okay. Female made. And this is waterproof. This is really important for yeah. our area. This is a really cool bag. And so you made these quinceanera invitations as quinceanera, well? Quinceanera, but also wedding invitations. And I always tell people that, you know, we don't just do it in English. I, I can make them in Spanish or whatever language that they need. Um, but yeah, the, these are all custom made and, and, and yeah, it's pretty fun. I love this. Okay, so in our last 10 seconds, if somebody's interested in going really quick, give us a rundown. Where is it? Is it free to go? And where can you find more information? Uh, it's this Saturday, B-Town Fiesta starts at 10 o'clock in the morning. Um, it's uh, going to be found in uh, Burien, Washington at the Burien Town Square, and we hope we can see you uh, there. It is a free event, so please come join us. Okay, Alexandra Griselda, thank you so much for coming on oh, today. Thank you. Again, B-Town Fiesta this Saturday at 11 in the morning until 10 at night. We're going to have all this information up on our website.